I am going to make sense out of the timing marks on the Honda ATC motors. And I'm sure that this applies to like the 200R and a lot of the Honda stuff. But I've looked everywhere to try to make sense out of what you see in this hole. And I could not make sense of it. And I'm sure other people feel the same way. So let me show you. The problem I had is when you put the flywheel in the position it's supposed to be, which is the question, where are the marks? What marks are what? And when you look at it in here with the cover on, it's really hard to tell what they're talking about from the marks they're giving you. And then up here, you've got the little, the little mark on the cam sprocket, which I've got covered now, but there's a little zero. That's obvious, and that goes right you know, straight up when you're trying to time the, the cam. So when you come down here, and they're saying to put the timing mark on the T, you can't distinguish what marks say T on there very easily. So I go right to the Internet. And this will explain it. When you're looking through here, you're looking at these marks here. That does not look like anything. That looks like the mark right there. And then this is like the letter. That looks like a T and the line. And this looks like a line with a dash in it. What they did here is they turned the firing line the F should have read F, but instead it's reading it on its side. So there's the F, and there's the T. It's real obvious on the top of the flywheel that you can't see through the opening. You only see these. So basically, if you look for the two dots, the first mark is the firing mark which could be confused as the T mark because that sure looks like a T to me with a mark beside of it. But it also looks like an F when you get your brain wrapped around it. And then this is the T, the timing mark. So these little dots are the marks and that says F and that says T. So if you go to the two marks, then you keep rotating it counterclockwise. The first mark is the firing mark. That's not the mark you want for timing the chain. When you're installing the cam sprocket and the chain, you want to line up to this little dot here that's next to this. Now, once you see what this looks like, it's kind of easier to look down the hole and see these little Fs and the T. But believe me, even after walking away from a day, I can't make any sense of it. It just could be me, but I think other people are going to have the same problem. So I'm making this video. So your F is the first mark you come to, and the T is the second. Or the F mark is the first. You know, it's basically the F mark would be between these two dots and the T mark. So there's two dots, firing, and timing. This is what you would set up your uh, pulse generator timing for. And this little dot is what you would do for your cam chain. I hope that helps people.